Hi, welcome to Play Along. We are going over a checker problem from Mr. C.J. Greenwood, the famous English problemist. Uh, this is our last video uh, called Imagination. Uh, you are playing white, and we have white to move and win. We're using this example because you're familiar to it. It's a four versus three with the composer's idea of a win by first position. The board is reversed from last week. Red is looking to get his checker back. So you move 27 to 24. He comes out, presses. You go here. He tags your checker on 18. You go here. He goes here. You go here. And he forks. He's going to win his checker back. Now what you do is you want him to be in the double in the double corner so you gain time. So you go 10 to 7. He jumps. Then you go in and get a king. Now we went over this, but I just wanted to show you. Now we mentioned if he goes four to eight, you go here. But we're working on first position, how to recognize it. If he comes out, you come in here. If he goes here, you would go here. You would go here. He goes here, and you go here. Now he comes out here, and you go 30 to 26. You're matched off with his king. He moved 12 to 16. So if you haven't, if you didn't see the, uh, the uh, last week's video, you might want to uh, uh, check it out too. So here you're going to use a temporary sacrifice. Uh, you go here, 26 to 23, when he jumps, you come out here, and he comes in here, and you jump here. Now we left off this position, and we set his first position, and the expert tournament player re resigned. So, it's Red's move. The only move he can make is tw 23 to 27. He can't go here because he'd be trapped. He would go to 18. He'd be trapped in two moves. Now, to win first position, you, you need to have the move. So, how do you know if you have the move? Well, let's show you one way. You can go by columns in your system. You're playing white, so your columns would be your king row, 32, 32 to 8, 31 to 7, 30 to 6, 29 to 5. And what you would do is you, you count all the checkers, whether red or white, in, in those rows to find out. So if we go here and we go down and there's no checkers, so that's 0. You go to 31, there's a checker here, that's 1. Go here, there's none. Zero. So it's one checker, uh, one piece. One is an odd number, so odds. If you if it's an odd number, it's a uh, you have to move. If it's an even number, you don't have to move. Your opponent does. Okay. The other way to check it out is it's your move. So in the time, so you go 15 to 19. It's your turn, and you go 15 to 19. Now it's the pair off system. 11 is paired off with four. 19 is paired off with 27. Red, in order to move, he has to retreat. So that's another way to tell if you have to move. So now, that's the first step. So red goes 27 to 32. And now, you need to get a king. So you go 11 to 7. You don't mind if he moves 4 to 8. You, you, in fact, it makes it easier for you. And red comes back here, and you go in and you get your king. So now you have the second step. You got, uh, you got your king. Red goes here. You come out. You're going to use a little psychology on this. Red goes here. You come out. Red goes here. Doesn't matter if he's going back or forth either. You're going to make the same moves. You go here. He goes out. You go here. And now it's a good chance instead of going back into the corner, he's going to move four to eight. Now, how do you force the win from here? So you're going to go 19 to 16. If he would go here to 12, you would just go 18 to 15. When he jumps 18 to 19, you would jump 15 to 31 for a double. Or, so he can't go there. So he goes here. Now, if he goes here, the same thing. You're going to make the same force and moves. You're going to force him to square 20. 16 to 12, he has to move, you go here, he has to move, attack him again, 
He can't go here because then you would go here and he's trapped. He can't go here because then you go 11 to 16 and you win the checker. So you force him to 20, 16 to 20. Then you follow 11 to 16. He could go here or here, but it doesn't matter. We're going to show you, you're going to play the same move. Let's say he goes 24 to 28, you go here. He can't go here because you'll go here and trap him. So he comes in here. Now you're going to drive him out. That's the third step. You're going to drive him out of the, uh, the double corner. You go here. His only move is 32 to 28. And now you match you off again. You go 23 to 27. He only has 27 to 32. And now you do what I've been calling lately in my mind is the power move. What you're doing is forcing Red King to move again. You go, you unite your checkers, 19 to 23, and you block him. So he has to go here. You go in. If he goes here, all you have to do is move aside, and he's trapped. He can't go any further without losing the checker. So he comes out, and now you can trap him again. Do you see the move? Right, you go 32 to 28, you get him out. He goes here, you would jump him. If he goes here, you jump him. He has to move forward. He has to go there and you jump again. First position. We're going to work on it in the next few weeks. Different ways to get to it, getting to recognize in it, and seeing how this technique was going to help you. All the experts know it, and now you do. Thank you for watching this video.